Michael Burry, the investor that famously predicted the housing market bubble in 2007, has come out to Twitter to make another bold prediction. He states that all of the hype and speculation is drawing in retail investors before the mother of all crashes, when crypto falls from trillions or meme stocks fall from tens of billions. Main Street losses will approach the size of countries. It's certainly the question that's been on every investor's minds over the course of the past 12 months, and it seems like with any other stock market crash prediction, the S&P 500 or the stock market in the whole just continues to go up. Talking of the S&P 500, it's literally trading at all-time highs as of recording this video. So is this just another stock market crash prediction scare, or is there some truth behind the Michael Burry stock market crash prediction? Well, let's talk about it, guys. But before we do so, my name is Mitch. I post all kinds of videos on investing and the stock market. If you do enjoy content like that, hit that big red subscribe button down below as well. Drop a like on the video, guys. It really, really helps out the channel. That being said, let's dive straight into it. Now, before we dive into Michael Burry's prediction in a little bit more detail and the tweets in which he made publicly on Twitter before going going on to delete them, firstly let's talk about Michael Burry's past. Because if we're going to trust someone's advice, then it's probably worthwhile that we just check out their credentials first. Well, Michael Burry started up his own hedge fund called Scion Capital in the early 2000s and was certainly able to provide some stellar returns to his investors. I found an article which showed his previous historical rates of return and back in 2001, the fund was able to return 55%, which was absolutely huge considering that the S&P 500 had fallen about 12% that year. It goes on to say that this return was simply not an anomaly. 2002, the fund was up 16%, with the rest of the market down 22%. In 2003, the market was up again, but by 28%, but the Scion fund was up over 50%. So as far as making predictions go, Michael Burry's past suggests that he does make some pretty good predictions about the kind of assets in which he invests into, as he was able to certainly beat the average rate of return over the stock market for several years in the early 2000s. But it certainly wasn't just some pretty solid return on investment which Michael Burry was able to achieve for his investors that put him into the spotlight. Instead it was the fact that he predicted the housing market bubble would burst and as a result he started snapping up credit default swaps on subprime mortgage bonds back in 2005. Now a credit default swap or CDS for sure is simply an insurance on a loan. If the loan goes bad the holder of the credit default swap gets the payout. But without turning this into a lesson on derivatives we all know what happened. The housing market did go on to crash and as a result after Michael Michael Burry went on to purchase $60 million in credit default swaps from Deutsche Bank. As his bold prediction proved, he then went on to cash in $100 million personally, as well as making over $750 million for all of his investors. So regardless of the fact that he had to wait three years for his bold prediction to play out, when it did, boy oh boy did he cash in. So in terms of his bold prediction about seeing the mother of all crashes very much on the horizon, could this prediction hold some validity? Well, let's see why he thinks that the stock market will crash based on a couple of other tweets in which he put out. Michael Burry tweeted that people's fear of missing out has propelled asset prices to unsustainable levels with the hashtag FOMO, parabolas don't resolve sideways. Now, I have absolutely no idea what parabola means, apart from the fact that I made the assumption that it had some kind of correlation to parabolic runs in stock prices. But regardless, I decided to Google it anyway, and this graph popped up. In essence, it certainly shows a steep incline followed by a huge decline, which is certainly something that could perhaps happen in the stock market over the course of, well, an unspecified time frame based on Michael Burry's prediction. And I think that's probably the most important thing to note here is that at what point in time will the stock market actually crash? Will it be next week? Will it be next month? Will it be next year? Or will we have to wait another three years in order for the stock market to crash? If Michael Burry's historical predictions are anything to go by, well, he was about three years out from the absolute peak of the housing market bubble before it went on to crash. So with that in mind, could we be another three years out or so before the stock market begins to crash too? Well, possibly but nobody truly knows the correct answer to that and it always brings me back from the quote from the wolf of wall street which goes like this <laughs> number one rule of wall street nobody okay if you're warren buffett or if you're jimmy buffett nobody knows if the stock is going to go up down sideways or in fucking circles least of all stockbrokers so because of this it's all well and good making predictions like this but if you can't put a timestamp on it well it's almost pretty useless information to have i personally can guarantee that we will see without a shadow of a doubt another stock market crash at some point in the future and i feel like everybody with an ounce of investing knowledge would certainly be able to make that prediction too the reason why i say that is well we've had 26 bear markets for the s p 500 since the year 1928 which means on average every 3.57 years 
the stock market crashes greater than 20% or more. So look, you certainly don't need to be the next Albert Einstein, Benjamin Graham, or Warren Buffett in order to be able to predict that the stock market will eventually crash at some point in the future. And the reality is, if you make those predictions enough times, well, eventually your prediction will be right. Now, don't get me wrong, I certainly respect the predictions like this, especially from individuals like Michael Burry, but it's also kind of stating the obvious as well. And look, that's certainly not me trying to downplay this situation because it's a very serious situation to talk about because the reality is there will be a lot of people who are very much overexposed to specific stocks, specific asset classes, and as a result, a lot of people will inevitably lose a hell of a lot of money, especially if this market crash is as bad as everybody expects it's going to be. But despite this, I also fear there is also a little bit of fear mongering around the kind of scale and size of the next market crash as and when it comes about. Yes, it might be the absolute worst stock market crash throughout the course of history that we've ever seen from a monetary standpoint. But what you also have to consider is the total market value now versus that of previous market crashes in kind of early 2000s or even back to 1929. The market value right now far surpasses the market value throughout any other point in history. So naturally, you can only obviously expect that when the next stock market crash comes in, obviously there will be hundreds and hundreds of billions of dollars absolutely wiped off global financial markets. Now, yes, that doesn't necessarily mean it will also be the biggest stock market crash when we look at it from an absolute percentage basis. Because if we look at some of the previous market crashes, we've got a 35% sell-off in which we saw during March of 2020. Back in the financial crisis of 2007, we saw the market sell off about 57%. And in the early 2000s, in the dot-com bubble, we also saw the stock market sell off about 50%. So in a nutshell, it really does make no odds if the stock market is going to crash and if the stock market is going to enter into bear market territory, the losses will be absolutely huge. But I think where the danger lies for every single investor is the fact that the stock market is certainly trading at all-time highs. And as a result, you can be very easily blinded by the current success of the stock market. So just to play devil's advocate here, let's say that there is a market crash on the horizon at some point in the near to medium term. Is it potentially worthwhile considering de-risking your portfolio ever so slightly and perhaps moving away from more speculative plays and into that of more lower risk assets? Perhaps it's worthwhile rebalancing an element of your portfolio and making sure it's pretty diversified to make sure that you're not exposed to one single asset class or perhaps taking a little bit of profit off the table and then reinvesting elsewhere. It's certainly easier said than done but it's a little bit of a balancing gap between how much you can absolutely milk from the stock market whilst it continues to trade higher and higher and higher versus leaving yourself exposed to any potential downside risks when we do see a stock market crash occur. But having said all that we've obviously got bold predictions about the stock market looking to crash but as of right now current economic conditions certainly suggest that we could still certainly see the stock market head higher for at least a foreseeable future i think for me personally based on what i've certainly read the two biggest catalysts for a potential stock market crash would be number one if interest rates start to rise and number two being that if the furlough scheme ends over here in the uk as well as stimulus packages over in the united states yet we end up in a third fourth fifth or sixth wave of the virus where we see continuous lockdown and continuous restrictions that will inevitably lead to a hell of a lot of unemployment and as a result of that we could see very very similar situations like we saw back in the housing market crisis of 2007 where people start to default on all of their loans and as a result of that we could very much see one of the biggest asset bubbles being burst that we've ever seen throughout the course of history so that said guys as always be sure to invest responsibly and don't invest any more than you can certainly afford to lose be sure to let me know guys down in the comment section below what your thoughts are on the current state of the stock market what are your thoughts on Michael Burry's stock market prediction? And as well, guys, if you did enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. And with that being said, see you over in the next video.